in English, if you want to use the verb consist, it may be followed by two possible prepositions, either consist of or consist in, and there is a difference in meaning. You say that something consists of, and then typically a number or the elements that make up that particular thing or um, subject. Um, you're basically saying that what you're referring to is composed of or is made up of. So you might say something like the team consists of five members, for example. If you're talking about a football team, football teams are made up, consist of 11 team members, team players. You don't need to say a number, but you might um, make a list of the elements making up that particular thing. For example, many jazz trios consist of a piano, guitar and double bass. You say consist of. Or you might describe lunches somewhere else and, and you might say lunches typically consist of a sandwich, a fruit or vegetable and coffee. But anyway, when you say you, something consists of, you say the elements that make it up. The other option, you might say that something consists in when you're explaining somehow an essential feature or you might say that they have this something as a main and necessary part or as a quality when you're somehow explaining what it involves. So, in this case, for example, for her, happiness consists in watching TV shows and reading books. Or in this example here, the beauty of traveling consists in meeting cultures and lifestyles other than your own. So, these are the two prepositions that might follow uh, the verb consist. Something might consist of a number of parts or certain elements or something might consist in doing something.